I've gotten a few comments about it running from enemies, where people implied I mostly play Kahara and abuse escape plan. They're not wrong, but you don't need escape plan to escape consistently. In fact, as often as I sing the praises of escape plan, by raw numbers it might not be as strong as you think. Fear and Hunger doesn't use an escape formula when you pick the run skill. It actually has custom odds programmed for every single encounter. Some enemies, like the butterfly, you can always run from. While other fights, like Harvestmen, you can never run from. However, there are general trends within the game. Most of the dangerous enemies, such as the Guard, Elite Guard, Lizardmen, Moonless, so on and so forth, give you 90% odds to escape, 95% odds to escape with escape plan, and 80% odds to escape on the harder modes. This is the full list of enemies using the default escape odds. If you failed to run from any of these monsters twice in the same battle and died because of it, you died to 1 in 100 odds. Pollinated enemies use their own formula. They're just as hard to run from on the harder modes as they are in normal mode, at 90% odds on both normal and hard. And 95% odds with escape plan. The only exception is the infected Lord of Flies, which still has 90% escape odds with escape plan for some reason. There's a third category of enemies you could call trivial. They use the default escape odds, but escape plan lets you run 100% of the time. There's also super trivial enemies that have 90% escape odds on any difficulty, and 100% with escape plan, like Trotcher and the Dark Priests. Human enemies tend to follow one of two formula. Kahara, Darchi, Nasra, Skeletons, and Isaiah all have 90% odds of escape, regardless of difficulty or whether or not you have escape plan, while Enki, Ragenvalder, Serral, and Seymour are all impossible to escape from. There's a handful of enemies you can always escape from, namely the Butterfly, Human Hydra, Ghost Knight, and Nameless Figurine. Everything else has its own unique formula. The body of the Ghost Knight, for instance, has only 40% odds of successful escape, unless you have escape plan, at which point it boosts the odds to zero and it becomes impossible to escape. Yeah, for some reason, the thing that boosts your ability to run away makes it impossible to run away in this one fight. It's probably a bug. Maniba have 95% escape odds with escape plan and 0% escape odds without it. Minor Spectres are similar. You have 50% odds to escape from them without escape plan, but 95% odds with it. Crow Mauler is immune to escape plan. On normal, you escape 90% of the time, and only 80% on hard. Escape plan doesn't change this at all. However, there's another way to escape from enemies without having to use the run skill. A method that can succeed 100% of the time in any fight you can run from. If you try to cancel out of battle, you're given a choice between fight and a run. If you choose run from here, instead of using the pre-programmed escape odds, it uses the default RPG Maker escape formula. The formula is pretty straightforward. It averages the agility of the party, then averages the agility of the enemy party, then divides the party average by the enemy average and multiplies that result by 50. And that's your odds percentage-wise of escape. Surprisingly, this formula is really easy to calculate in your head. You see, every party member in Fear and Hunger, except for Moonless or people with the White Angel Soul, has 10 agility. Every enemy in Fear and Hunger also only has 10 agility. Well, the ones you're gonna run from. One of Cave Mother's parts and one of Sam and Sake's parts have two agility instead, but you can't run from those, so just ignore them. This means your odds of escape is 10 divided by 10 times 50. So, using the RPG Make a Run option gives you 50% odds of escape. But you remember what I said earlier? Except for Moonless or people with the White Angel Soul? If you're Moonless or have the White Angel Soul, you have 20 agility, not 10. If everyone in the party has a White Angel Soul or is Moonless, then the average party speed jumps to 20, twice that of the enemy parties. 20 over 10 is 2, 2 times 50 is 100% odds. If you're solo and you get the White Angel Soul, fights are now optional. If you spam on guard, you can safely take out any enemy on any difficulty without any chance of them ever fighting back.